upside down. Right. So I think I better tell you what's been going on over this last week that has just kind of floored us, to be honest. Absolutely knocked us sideways. It's actually probably a week today. This is a sad day. I'm not sure the actual day, but it was like a, a week sad day. This one here ate a lollipop stick, just the wooden little ones, you know, on, and I'll tell you what kind of lollipop it was. It was the mini, the mini magnums, you know that? So it was, <laughs> boom, the whole lot gone. And she was poorly that night. And I thought, well, it m must be the lollipop stick. And she threw up, bless her, and she was feeling the sick loads. We rang the vet the next day and she just wasn't herself, you know, and bear in mind, We've got, we've had loads of dogs. They're, they're eating wood all the time. The, the little fella, the little Ralph, he can chew wood, he goes through wood all the time. So we're kind of, well, we'll phone the vet. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll kind of, we'll take her to the vet. The vet asked her to come in. And by the time we got, you know, that we took her into the vets, she wasn't in a very good place. You could tell she was just like, you know, flat. Not, not in pain or anything like that. Just, you know, as if you had like an upset tummy. So, and it's, you know what I mean? You go to the vet and you've got this kind of, God, it's gonna cost, it's gonna cost a fortune, it's gonna cost a fortune. It did. <laughs> but I mean, she's insured, so kind of that, to be honest, it's not a, a worry anyways when it's your kind of, your loved one. So we took her to the vet and that night, you know, she was there all day that night, can we go and pick her up? Well, the phone, actually, the phone were up and said, They've done two x-rays on her and the, they couldn't see anything in these x-rays. You know, the first x-ray came back, you know, so the, they did another one a little bit later on. You know, because we said she's at this like lollipop stick. She's kind of, you know, and it, straight away the vet said, even on the phone when we were taking her in to the, to the vets on the, the initial time, she's a big dog, it'll just pass through. There's no need to kind of worry. But anyway, they did these two x-rays and they did a thing called a barium flush which i guess flushes everything out and they can see you know what i mean what, what's going on nothing there now i went to pick her up on the night time tea time she'd had a, like a little shot of antibiotics and she'd had a little bit of painkiller she came out of the vets like a spring chicken do you know what i mean she was going around all the kind of little vet nurses kind of wagging the tail and she came to me and i was like all oh, right right so it must have just been an upset to me and maybe the sticks caused something we went out for a meal and this is like she goes everywhere with it we've got friends who've got a little dog as well and we, we go to pubs we go out for meals they come the dogs come do you know what i mean we've got to kind of find it's me garlic bed i think that's me elephant garlic bed daisy just be careful there it is just be careful you not be on there much longer we took her to the pub she was fine she you know what i mean a little nibble of this little nibble of that she was as good as good she's that's that's what you want in a dog she says the perfect allotment dog she just kind of chillaxes mind this is a new coat and she's only wore it once this is the second time and it's way bigger this time the amount of weight she's lost but anyway so it picks her up from the, the vets she was like a spring chicken, you know, we're kind of relaxed, we thought everything's okay. We went for a meal, we came back. I don't drink no more, do you know what I mean? I kind of stopped me kind of drinking. I might have the odd, um, you know, a little kind of tipple when we're on holiday. So, but Melanie has a few drinks. I'm going to bed, I'm going to bed, and it was early on. Right, right, right. Daisy always follows you up to bed and make sure you're in bed, then come back down. And when she came back down, exactly the same as when we took her to the vets in the morning and i went and and she was like this like kind of hunch and i was like wow something's not right here again do you know what i mean so i just kind of calm that i told melanie and then within kind of minutes again all this sick comes up and it's just like do you know what I mean i'm the cockliest person ever when it comes to sick do you know what I mean? So I had to kind of Melanie help us with all this. It's all over the place. We phoned the vets again. Can you bring her in Monday? Now this is, I think this was, was this, this was still sad day night, you, you know, because we, we picked her up on the sad day. Can you bring her in Monday? Just monitor her. You know, we've done the, the x-rays, everything like that. That's okay. So by the time Monday come, and it was the, 
we had to phone for an appointment. It was going to be about, Daisy, come here. People I want to know about you. It was going to be, I think the appointment was like five in the afternoon. Do you know what I mean? That's the only one they had. And I'm the, the biggest one of like, Melanie, phone them back and tell them. You know, I'll not do that, but I'll get <laughs> Melanie will, but phone them back. I want a better appointment than that. So we had to take her straight in and we had to take her straight up to the main. We're in a little village here, Whitburn's got its Blythe and I think it's Blythe Part Blytheman Partners, the vet's called. But they've got the big one in Gosforth, just right next to Newcastle. So I had a whizzer up there. And to be honest, when we when we put her, she jumped out the car, she like, oh, and I've never heard Daisy kind of wince like that. And I was like, oh god, what is wrong with her? You know what I mean? Like we couldn't find, like, the x-rays have showed up nothing. We went in, and then the vet said, you know, like, the x-rays wouldn't really show up, wood. So we're going to have to, you know, because, like I say, the lollipop was wood, we're going to have to operate. And it was like, oh, right, then, right, no problem, no problem. He let me know as soon as kind of possible. And we, we just dropped her off, and then we went for a lovely walk with the other two dogs around Newcastle's town moor. And we were, like, so... Right, well, we'll pick her up tonight or tomorrow. She's had this operation. There might be a stick. They'll get it out. That's, you know, I mean, that, that's it. And we got the call. And and I guess vets are like this. They kind of give, like, false hope and lead you down wrong paths. They said, she, it's a very precarious... She's in a very precarious position. And she's probably not going to make it. And it was just like that, just smacked with absolutely and i was like eh you know you honestly can't believe what and yes it's a dog in it you know what i mean but kind of, in the real kind of world of things but it just knocked with and melanie just went downhill and she says i've never been like even with her dad passing and then it, we're, we're kind of thinking back on it and maybe all this emotion came out for, from her dad losing her dad as well and the thought of like lo losing that and we've had dogs since we were kind of kids me and Melanie we've been together 30 odd years but they've always been at their correct time to go Daisy's not even three do you know what I mean she's still like a to us she's still like the little pup of a girl she's like an old woman but she's still like the pup and I think that's what caught kind of for me you know it was just like such a young life do you know what I mean and she comes up here She's embedded in this kind of allotment. Do you know what I mean? And it's just like, I couldn't actually come up here. You know, I walked up to, to pick some salad and I couldn't even think of doing a video. You know, I seen a water bowl and I was nearly like in tears there and there was a, there's a dog mat in, the, in there and it was just like, oh. So to be told this, that she's, and it was like, what, what do you mean, what's going on? And the vet kind of, and lovely and calm, but said, you know, she's, She's in a very difficult position, very precarious. This lollipop has perforated our intestines. That's all kind of, all that leaked and it's went inside her. And she's got this, this, this infection called peritonitis, which I don't know if it, I mean, she, they said healthy dogs, 50-50 chance with that. But because of the perforated intestines as well, it's like, the chances are getting knocked back and back and getting less and less. And it, even now. Oh, fuck. Hmm? <sighs> <sighs> <clears throat> Gonna have to pause it one second. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like these complications of everything. Do you know what I mean? And with the the vet being so kind of direct and you know not kind of well, you know it could well, should be you know there was none of that. It was just like she's very ill. There's not a good chance she's going to make it, and it was just that just knocked with just, uh, and it was like, and it, and she'll be in here for a long time. Do you know what I mean? And it was just, and every day was just torture for her. It was just like it dragged, and it was just trying to keep you know like busy or. 
but she was on your mind. And I'll show you this little, <laughs> this is me, me Apple Watch, this is me sleep data. This was most nights, this was like this for me. I would wake up, as you can see there in the red, is not sleeping. And it was just like, I was just downstairs and I was just like kind of sitting where we normally sit with her, you know what I mean? And it's just been, <laughs> and each day, we'd get a call from the vet, you know what I mean? And like I say, so professional, so lovely. You know, that they, they would call in the morning and they would call at night, ring you up, they give you the, they, how, how she's doing. And then the, 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 the vet nurses, the young nurses would ring, you know, and you get, I think the way they work is one of the nurses gets allocated like Daisy to look after on her shift. And right through the night as well, she was in such a bad, you know, they had to kind of monitor and look after her through the night and it was just touch and go right up and then the i think it was about two days two days ago we got a call and they said and each each kind of calls being like well it's you know she's doing good and they had like a drain on her and they were saying up to like 300 mils every time of fluid was coming into this like drain you know it was still drain they wanted that to stop and it was just like not happening. And then about two days, three days ago, they said, right, now it's real now it's really dangerous. And it was almost like, you know, you're you're climbing up and then you're thinking, right, she is getting a little bit better, you know, they've given her just antibiotics. I'll take a little picture of her two front legs. They've got the scars where the drips, just total drips and fluid into her and kind of antibiotics into her and everything like that. She was just and the vet was saying she was just lying. She couldn't get up, she was just, bless her, just weeing there. She hasn't ate for six days. But, like I say, three days ago, the vets phoned up and says, right, this is the bit where if the wound from the intestines is going to give, this is where it's, it's like, this is the one where it'll give. And if it gives, it's kind of back to square one. And it was just like, it was such like a, a gut punch and punch. Do you know what I mean? Just again, you're thinking, oh, we're just there. And then... I think it was Friday we got the call right it looks like we're out of the woods and it was just poor oh, man we raced up Friday morning and she came out and bless her she was like a the different dog do you know what I mean I know she's kind of a little bit kind of slow in there and we've got a the amount of tablets she's on do you know what I mean and it's like I'm pretty good at giving dogs, you know, I've had dogs all life, giving t tablets to dogs. She's on about, I don't know, eight or nine different, you know, and you've got to like one and a half, so you've got to snap one and all this kind of thing. She doesn't take tablets. <laughs> we had Roxy, who was in one of our big dopamines. You could just kind of pop it in her throat, you know, like just twist her little mouth and tickle her mouth and make her, sw nah, nah. We've tried it with butter, we've tried it with cheese, we've tried them with like, they normally get like, dry dog food she's on like well she's got to be on at the moment wet food but we'll try putting it in the kind of bits of chunks of meat straight away and it's just like oh so each day in the morning last night and today has been like come on dear you've got to and uh, she's just not doing it so the outcome is fantastic do you know what i mean we couldn't wish for anything else and it, but it's like i say just like that dead quick so happened so she's now got a we've got like this they have seen they give her a lovely kind of sheet you know well a few, a few bloody pages reams of it to be honest like a daisy's kind of recovery period and it's all wrote in you know it's not like kind of just copied it's if you could do this for you know and daisy's names there and this milligram of this tablet and she's got 10 days of kind of just taking it easy no off the lead walk she can go for a nice 15 minute walk they say you know a couple of times a day but it's nothing kind of strenuous you've just got to and she's not she's not an active dog you know what i mean the other ones are like way where she'll just kind of sit like that but at least she's sitting there like that but we're all good look after yourselves take good care